Just about everyone, I'd say. Um, there are a number of non-surgical treatments available, which were not around, say, 20 years ago. Um, it used to be um, sort of a, a medication therapy or hair transplant. And if you weren't suitable for either, then that was kind of it. Now we have all sorts of uh, advanced testing and advanced non-surgical treatments. So as long as it's the right thing for the right patient, um, and there's some good diagnosis, either with blood testing, scalp biopsies, trichotesting, testing, um, and the number of treatments around, we can always do something for everybody. Um, so even people that have something like scarring alopecia, technically if it's very advanced, people traditionally were told there really isn't anything you can do, but that's when scalp micropigmentation comes in, because we can actually camouflage the scalp or just kind of cover the areas where the, the scarring is to make it look like there are hair follicles where there are none. So it's quite a, a new thing that's been around for I'd say about 12 months that I'm aware of, um, maybe longer in the EU. Um, it's a genetic testing um, and like a genetic testing analysis um, which is a simple swab of the inner cheeks and it analyzes 48 different genetic variations um, purely associated with hair loss so we can help to find out what is most likely to work for you as well as more importantly what won't work so people don't waste a lot of time and money on things that just won't work for them. There, there is sort of um, like a generational thing sometimes it can skip a generation so quite often People will say, well, my father was fine, he had a full head of hair, but it might be the grandparent. Um, and it can be on the mother's side as well. It's not necessarily just the father's side. You know, only 10% of your hair left to get a full head of hair isn't going to be possible. Um, but the, th the thing I do about bringing lots of experts together is even if I can't personally help someone, then I know someone who can, and it's easy to to bring in the surgeon or the dermatologist, so we can really treat such a wide range. Yes, um, so traditionally people will probably have heard of mesotherapy or microneedling. Um, lots of people have had it for the face, so we do it for the scalp. Um, so we infuse the scalp and hair follicles with various different growth factors um, and amino acids to help stimulate hair growth and nourish follicles. Um, and again, this is why going back to an original point of having a correct and in-depth consultation, which I believe is really essential to gain a good understanding of, of what you're dealing with. So micro, um, mesotherapy in the right people can be absolutely fantastic, but you've got to have hair there to stimulate in the first place. So again, during the consultation, we would assess someone's suitability for a wide range of treatments and then decide on the best treatment plan for them so if it's the right person it's fantastic so we offer a mesotherapy or a scalp infusion for stimulating um, and nourishing weak struggling hair follicles so this is really ideal for someone who scalp and hair uh, the scalp condition isn't too great um, and for hair that's starting to thin um, or shed too much. Um, so when you've still got hair to work with, um, so it's not ideal for someone who's very advanced in their hair loss stage. Um, so this is to really essentially help to feed and nourish the hair and sort of help prevent more hair loss and hair fall. Um, again, going back to the original consultation phase and diagnosis as to why it might be falling out and struggling in the first place. Is it genetic? Is it environmental? Is it hormonal? Um, so there are lots of factors to take into consideration, but for the right person, scalp mesotherapy is ideal. Um, we use some superior quality growth factors and stem cell serums, which are um, scientifically proven to help and I've had excellent results with them. Um, we do scalp micropigmentation. <clears throat> so this is really ideal for a lot of people, whether you are not suitable for a hair transplant, whether you've had a hair transplant and it's failed, 
um, and you've been left with scarring or it just didn't work or take very well, we can cover the scars. Um, we can also kind of camouflage areas of hair loss. Um, so essentially scalp micropigmentation is using medical grade ink and placing little dots with tiny needles to give the illusion of hair follicles and hair density when there are not. Um, if someone has scarring alopecia or, or complete you know, alopecia totalis or universalis where they've got nothing, they can have a full head of scalp micropigmentation to give the illusion of a full head of hair shaven down by choice. Wow. Um, so you really can treat mm. an awful lot these days. 